Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm excited because today we have a great project. We're going to paint a little flame, a little candle flame. And sometimes artists struggle with flames or fire because they'll put white or orange or red and wonder why doesn't it look like fire. So I'm going to share my secrets with you. Why? Well, because there's no secrets among friends. So, but before we do, I recommend that you subscribe if you haven't. Or if you know of have a friend that might benefit from this channel, make sure to recommend me. Also check the links below if you'd like to see more of my art artwork or even order prints of my artwork. So here's the project. Let's begin. All right, we are ready to begin our project. First, let's look at our colors. Here we have titanium white, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt umber, lemon yellow, cadmium yellow medium, cadmium red light, thalo rose, alizarin crimson, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, and dioxazine purple. And I'm painting it today on the pal wooden palette itself. That way everything is in the same area. Now, it doesn't mean I'm going to use all these colors, but they're there if I need them, or I might use more colors that are on here. So, But this is to begin. So let's start. We will start with our white. Titanium white. With titanium white, I suggest you get a very good quality white. Especially when you're starting, I know we try to save money and we might buy cheaper paints. But with white, I would suggest immediately that you buy professional white. Okay, at this point, of course, it still does not look like a flame, but this is just the start. Next, we will do what I call transition colors, colors that go from one to the next. And my first transition color will be yellow. The brighter yellow and that one we will put along the edge here on the left and the right side it's basically in between the background and the white. Exactly between the two. Next, I will take the cadmium yellow medium and we will go in between the yellow and the background.
Next, we will take a mixture of cadmium red light and cadmium yellow medium. Same thing, we will start in between the last color and the background. Now it's starting to look like a flame, huh? We'll take a little of my last color and put some, just a touch more red in it. For the top. Now we will take a little bit of the alizarin and add it to that. And I'll do the top. Ah, darker. Okay, take a little bit of purple, white, and a touch of um, yellow ochre just to kill the purple just a little bit. Put a little linseed and thinner in it just to thin it out just a bit. Okay, with that I'm going to do a little edging right here. You need a good detail brush for this. Now that you have that, I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to do a little softening. So I'm going to I'm going to blend a little bit some of the colors here just to soften it all see I'm barely barely touching it I'm 
I'm barely touching it. They're tiny little strokes. If you pick up too much color, clean your brush. See, I'm softening between here. Between the last two layers. Now I'm going to soften between the last layer and the outside and the background. The next part I'm going to do is the wick. I take some some old ultramarine blue, a little bit of purple, a little bit of the dark brown, and start making the wick. There's some detail in the wick. There we go. And then a little bit of orange right here on the edge. Red orange. Going into yellow. Going into white. With our flame, we're all, we need a little more work. We will take, um, let's see, Lysrin, tiny bit of purple, maybe a little bit of ochre here, and we'll put the top part here. Went into more of a purple. And there's a tiny bit of light blue. on the edges here. Nice. I just noticed this red over here. Soften between the 
glue and the inside. Let's see if we can make the white go into the blue just barely. And put a little more orange right here. The touch of yellow. Soften. I'm going to make this stand out just a little extra here. All right, now I'm going to do the rest of the uh, the rest or the top of the candle in um, fast time. I think that's it um, that's our flame project I hope you enjoyed it take care